yeah. due to the fact that they're startup. And they both have pretty decent blasters, right, from a distance. You know, shoot one or two just to understand what the opponent is, you know, how, how they're going to react to oh, you yeah. throwing out that zoning option, right? Are you going to jump? Are you going to roll? Are you going to shield? Et cetera, et cetera. Are you going to move forward and block? There's so many different ways to react to projectiles from a distance, but that's enough information for you to collect to understand how to dismantle them when they get around your zoning, right? Exactly. And Falco has such great tools to deal with people that want to get around his zoning. Because if, if you try to full jump, Falco has such a fast and decently active up tilt, right? Towards Dude, that up tilt's so good in this that's, game. That's like what it I'm got saying. it got super buff. Yes, I remember talking to Larry, he's like, yeah, just spam up tilt a neutral. I'm just like, Dude, what? It's, dude, I watched Katar many times playing with Nairo on his stream. He would run up, he would up tilt, and it's kind of unreactable too. Yeah. So you go for up tilt, and sometimes people would try to punish it, and they'll miss a punish, and they'll just up tilt again. And up tilt leads into multiple up tilts to up air <laughs> and up literally imagination. Yeah, it's, you just see somebody who's uh, probably a caucasoid with glasses uh, just, you know, explosions <laughs> behind their head. <laughs> imagination. I'm just telling you right now. It's such a beautiful thing to see that Falco actually has a really great damaging, like his combo trees are amazing. Dude, his, his combo game is crisp. Yes, in this I think game. it's actually underrated. Uh, looking at how a lot of people. Wait, what's happening? Okay, the bird's here. The bird, the bird is out, and yo, climb side. We have the dark salmon side, and I, to, to my understanding, I believe most people in the community feel that dark salmon is just better than salmon because I believe her up smash scoops lower. It's something with it's, her up smash it, being it scoops lower, yeah. lower characters. The forward smash has less range. Her rolls better. Okay. Overall. I'm a I'm more of a Dark Samus fan yeah. than than regular Samus, but I can see the benefits to you know using either yeah. or you know like if I were to use regular Samus, I'd probably have more range on my forward smash. But looking at the fact that there are characters in this game that are top tier that are short, I'd rather pick Dark Samus. Oh yeah, for yeah. sure. And dude, I I love the fact that they gave. Samus and Dark Samus um, be reversing on neutral B, yeah. being able to charge it in the air. That's Her so air dodge is so good. So it's like I was watching Quick and some other Samuses, like their movement, their wave landing on the platforms, it felt very like melee esque. And like just because she has that great air dodge, and, I mean, I agree in, in melee, like, you know, wave wave land back or wave dash back into like forward smash and down smash such a good option so it, yeah. it just it feels like very nostalgic and to if, watch and if you guys don't know what War Chief is talking about like think about it when you're using a character like Samus you can jump in the air reverse your forward momentum with a B reverse charge of the charge shot yes. and what happens is that that moves you in a reverse direction then you can catch your opponent off guard with whatever options you can go for upon landing you could hit jump and have access to all your sick grounded options yeah so that's so sick you know and i want to see if saitani has that tech on deck here we go in the first game on pokemon stadium 2 yeah pokemon stadium 2 definitely being the new smashville uh definitely a very popular starter pick everyone just loves the platform layout and can we talk about this music yeah it's to be fine. honest the music is really good as long as i don't have to hear root 10 or you right, you right, you right. Gladion, I hear it a lot too. In any event, War Chief first stop already. You're talking about that back air being so powerful, yes, sir. And even like it's crazy because up tilt back air is such a great trusted confirm for Falco as well, especially by the edges. Yes, and you know what's funny? Even like forward air, you know forward air. If he does it correctly, he can actually link that into up air as well. Yeah. Here it goes again. This time ending it really short. Just went for the immediate nair afterwards. Sometimes against floatier characters, you want to just end a you know end a combo combo immediately. But you can buffer an immediate up air, short hop up air. Oh, oh I thought he was gonna double jump inside, but he decided to. Like was that trade worth? I don't think it was. <laughs> and he takes another one. Oh, no. And that's that's the crazy thing about Samus. I mean, th those charge shots are just so devastating. And they are transcendent, so they go through all the other projectiles. So you got to be very careful of how you throw out your projectiles or your hitbox against this charge shot. Yep. And uh, let me tell you one thing I like about this matchup. So far, whenever you're playing against, as a Falco, if you're fighting against a character that loves to throw out projectiles, that's actually, I, I think that's that's not the worst thing in the world. Oh, Falco yeah. likes to fight characters that love to throw out projectiles. So that will force the opponent facing against Falco to not rely on the projectiles as much. Yeah, and Falco is the only character that has a reflector that he kicks towards his opponent. Yes, so the fact that he reflects it closer to the opponent, it gives him less time to actually defend against yes, it. Yes, sir. That's so true. And here it is right now. It looks like War Chief is trying to get a little bit more aggressive with it. Goes high. Oh, I will. If he waited just a little bit longer. But the forward smash does connect for Satani. And just like that, Satani taking the lead. And Samus being that tanky. You have that massive armor. You're so heavy. Satani already sitting at 149. Still alive. Yep. And there it is. War Chief sneaks right behind his opponent with the back air. Tying up the stocks. But you see how Satani is smart. He decides to go for that charge. Oh, run up jab would have worked. But there's the opportunity now. 
Okay, there's the, the neutral. Oh, using the reflector, but Satani baiting it out and going right into the shield, going into the forward air, and that's the kind of counterplay I want to see. Exactly, but there it is again, kicking it back into his opponent's face, mixing that up here. Could have potentially got a dare afterwards, but here it is. He's still going swinging, actually. He's not afraid of Satani in the least. Ooh, the charge! Oh, man! He's the eye behind him, so he wouldn't get it. Ooh, that bomb almost connected into the forward smash. That would have been it for Warchief, but still oh, staying alive. This is going to punish accordingly. Ooh. Doesn't. That was an opportunity of a lifetime there. This is yeah. still the first game, and you want to have that kind of big advantage. Oh, but it's the back the eye. Wow. Oh, Satani barely squeezing that out with the tipper back there. And what looked like a game that Warchief had complete control over yeah. in the beginning, Satani slowly withered him down and turned it around at the very end. I agree. Let me tell you one thing, too. And uh, I feel like Warchief right there understood that the time was now, and he wanted to act in order to see if he can get the win. But sometimes, when you realize that you're, both, especially when both players are high percent, understand that the opponent is probably going to keep throwing out KO moves yes. so that they can win the game. So you wait for them to to try to burn one of those resources, throw out a KO move, wait for that, and then punish them afterwards. He ran straight into that back air, which of course would be a common a, a option from a Samus that's in midair drifting with her back towards you. You know, exactly. you don't want to be, you don't want to be too too aggressive right there. Wait out their option and then see if you can use the zone breakers and punish. But here we go into the second game, same stage. Yeah, Pokemon Stadium, of course, very popular stage. And yeah, like, like you said, you got to have that discipline sometimes, yeah. especially like at the, those later moments, like being able, because it's always easier to like commit into an option, but it, it, it's way harder to reset, react, reset, react. Oh man, it can be so tough. And Satani, already starting off this game number one so strong, you're already 70% on working. Yep. He, there it is. This is what I wanted to see Wurtzy go for. The up the up airs after the up tilt. He gets a lot more off of it. And the cool thing about that too is that, you know, even though he gets the neutral air, it sends the opponent up and away from him. So he kind of has to chase him down. Beautiful job. But the job's not done yet here. Yeah, and now he, we, we even talked about that shine being so good because he kicks it, but it also has a hitbox too. And catching that landing, Warchief going to get that first off. Very convincing. Exactly. Okay, we got a little bit of a charge right there from Satani, so I'm waiting to see when he's going to decide to burn it. Okay, nice by Warchief. Not side being on stage after seeing the fact that Satani keeps putting the bombs on the edge. Yeah, th that was pretty much a land, just like all these landmines, all these traps just waiting for Warchief, but he's going to avoid that. But, oh, the forward air was so close to connecting, but the dash tag now being a kill move. Yes, it's so strong. But, yeah, as a person who plays Dark Samus himself, when you are using Dark Samus and you place a bomb at the edge, you're usually waiting to see if the opponent overshoots, right, yes. at the edge, so that you can confirm into any attack that you please. From close range, you have a lot of options, and from long range, you have a beautiful charge shot if it's fully charged. There it is. That's what I wanted to see him go for after the down throw. Down throw, you can confirm it to an immediate show hop forward air, and he's finally getting that damage that's guaranteed. Yeah, and then even after that, it sets you up in such a good position because you can even catch the landing after that with maybe a projectile or maybe some kind of setup or even just set up the next part in neutral. And right now, setting up all the bombs, but the Phantasm will go right through it. There it is. Warchief again, trying to capitalize. I like that, but he jumps right on top, which is going to immediately fall prey to that up out of shield. Up out of shield, you don't have to deal with any jump jump squat frames, right? Yep. It's just immediate. It's a so quick in this game. And yeah, because you, you don't have to go for that jump. And now for the ledge trap here, the forward air send them off stage. Wait. Okay. Ooh. And oh there my god! He lives! That, was, that was crazy. I mean the character is kind of heavy. Yeah. Heavier than Ridley even. <laughs> That's crazy. Dude, RIP that, Ridley. Dude. Yeah, I'm saying man, how, come on, that guy. <laughs> I thought he was a super heavyweight. I went on Corey got a hammer. I was like, bro. The Belmont is heavy. I was literally, so I got hired to do an event at the Nintendo World uh, North American Open Championship nice. in Vegas. And somebody side betted with me. They're like, yo, I'm going to tell you right now, do one. Sam, who's heavier? Samus or Ridley? I was like, definitely Ridley. I lost money. Anyway, so here we go. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Sakurai strikes again. Yes. <laughs> oh, gosh. How, Sakurai? How? Ooh, Here it is uh, at the edge. I like it. Yeah, the Firebird mix-up is really nice. And we, we've seen Warship go for those Phantasm mostly. Ooh, the deep order, but the downer almost hits him. But or Phantasm into the back air. Ooh, ooh, wow, that neutral air. Yeah, seriously, just to get some breathing room. Still has a charge shot. Expecting the charge shot right there. Warship! Oh, and the jump. What a brave jump, because if he charged shot, he could have got hit. Yeah. And what a read coming out from Warship. Oh, oh he didn't get the big punish. Oh, man, the up air. And I, I feel like that's um what Warship is having trouble with. Oh, and there's the oh charge shot. Oh, my God. Oh, it's right into it. took that blast right there. <laughs> okay. 143% here on Satani. Warchief has to close it out. 
away. Here it is. These F tilts, man. Such beast of rage. Wait, is he going to try to capitalize on a recovery? Oh, my God. And he already bought that, that homing, uh, homing missile. Oh, shoot. He's already at 89%. God, Firebird. And now, oh, more setup game. All the bombs coming out. And the charge shot almost complete. But the okay. back air. Woo. Woo. One and one. Here it is in this series. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was really fun. <laughs> yeah. <and> Warchief <laughs> was playing with fire there. And it looked so much in favor yeah, of Warchief on that really last talk. Really but did. a couple of hits and a charge shot. And... Bam, you're at 90%. You're dealing with this Dark Samus with the Rage, and we've seen how powerful this character can be. Such a potent character right there. And it's crazy because I feel like, you know, because of the fact that uh, Samus, when it comes to her jab, you know, oh, it's, uh, when they heard Samus got reintroduced to the game, they were wondering, hey, so like, are we is Samus' jab good again? And, and the moment you saw the jab from Samus, it's like one, two, and it's so inconsistent, right? You thought you'd be able to get the guaranteed follow-ups like a lot of other characters can. But for some reason, like Sakurai literally just, everyone in the cast. <laughs> literally everybody in the cast. Sakurai just somehow messed up. He's like, "Sorry, guys." You know, you could maybe I'll you get him in the next game. <laughs> Crouch cancel just blows that up. Anyway, so here we go. <laughs> game three, and you could keep chaining up airs. Oh, okay, he didn't get it correctly, but you could literally chain so many up airs into an up beat potentially off the top if the platforms allow you to. Oh yeah, and definitely Samus. You know, was a combo character in Smash Four. Not as much though, just from the dash attack nerf. But she still can chain those up airs, like you're saying, or end it off with those the neutral air as well. And I, I feel like they definitely moved the character to be more well-rounded and more on the archetype of like, I want to set up, I want to set up these traps, which is really cool. Yeah, like looking at a lot of the the Samus and Dark Samus mates, I was super happy to see the fact that they've been having success messing around with the character. You know, it, again, it may not be Smash Four. But they have a lot of KO options, at, at, just literally at the disposal. Decent combo options, and just I, I like the fact that you know three frame jump squat, and just being able to have an immediate up B or up smash out of shield can yes. be a decent boot too. And the changes to the characters when it came to the bomb, right? The right? bomb, the yeah. missile, even that the stall missile, missile is yes, so sir. cool. It just seems a lot more setup based, which just feels more sandwich. Yeah, you know what I mean? Exactly. It so is, now yeah. she could be stationary and just force you to come to her. Oh, wow. There's a combo star. Very interesting uh, situation there because he got the forks. Oh! <laughs> Yo, he, he got chased down, man. He, he tried to get out, but he got chased he down. He got chased 100%. <laughs> and again to the back of the head. Oh, man. He's already already at 30%. Wow. This character's damage output, especially with all these different setups with the bomb, with the charge shot, can just start getting... Oh, oh man. He's still off stage. And these bombs. Oh, oh he my. needs to stop from coming oh. on stage <laughs> like that. He needs to stop. These There's a bomb. bomb. <laughs> the landmine, man! You gotta watch out for the landmine! Oh man. my god! It's a trap! It's it literally a is! <laughs> Jeez, Luis, here's an opening though, but he does not get the punish. Oh man. Now, weren't you sitting at 71%? Oh, okay. And the counterplay! Dismantle, dismantle. Oh no. Dismantle. Not like this, Warchi. Dis dismantle. I need you to get back up. I need you to get back up and keep fighting, Warchi. I, I, I want to see it as well, but he's been catching too many, too many well placed charge shots by Saitani. And again, Falco can't. Oh, oh God! Man, the back air connects and the vortex. D1! D1! D Where? Oh, that was crazy, bro! Did you see it? Damn! Wow! Oh, crazy, bro! Oh, man. D1's such a goon. I love him. Dude, he left so quickly. <laughs> like, what the? All right. So, Warchief got a game. And that's good. I yeah. definitely thought he that was good. It was good stuff. You almost got it. Hey, both of us went 2-1 on stream, though. There we go. But yep. we had a nice comeback. All right. <laughs> that's all that matters. Well, he actually, he actually he actually really dominated that second game, so. Yeah. yeah. All right. But, uh, you know, even with World Champ playing, shout out to World Champ and TGG and all that good stuff. For one, for having me out here. And two, just for, you know, making time uh, soccer still a thing. Oh, but yes. up next, we got Ooh. Mars. PG Mars. Yeah, so hey. PG Mars. And then Juice. I didn't even know Juice actually came out here. But that makes sense because Juice is the DFS player, so yeah. Are we gonna see the Ditto? I, I'm pretty sure. I feel like, yeah. I don't. I think Juice plays someone else, but I'm not sure who. But I know that Mars also plays Ike. But I feel like we're at Prime Saga. You know, you guys gotta, you guys gotta do the Ditto. Yeah. Like that's what it is. <laughs> and Light is exiting the stage, having some uh, banter with Mars. Both of them being from the same region, of course. <laughs> I was like, yo, I was like, congratulations, Light. You're the only Mars doing, or the only uh, Fox doing it right now. He yeah. Damn he right. Is. And he I is. was like, that's so sad. Yeah. Like, remember, Larry Larry was the Fox for so Ooh, long. Oh, man. And I, now. I'm in SoCal, man. Sometimes we, we don't talk about certain things. We don't we don't talk about certain it's things. It's like, and now. <laughs> <laughs> you know and what I mean? now, cue in piano. <laughs> 
Oh, man. I, it, it's been rough. It's been a rough ride. I feel like uh, Light was able to stick with Fox because the way he played Fox in 4 is like the same way, like, metal way to play Fox in this game. Right. You, if you can open someone off offensively, like, that pretty much Light does that. Like, oh, hey, uh, I'm going to reach you, and I'm going to kill you. Sick. Dude, actually, now think about it. Both of your Foxes are left. Probably left, too. Oh, He's yeah. He's like, yeah, yeah I'm going to wolf now. What, what SoCal says is uh, the sun is setting and the moon is rising. I feel that. <laughs> so PG Mars 